Now I know what you might be thinking. Why would Dyson come out with hair care products? And well, I have the answer which I'm going to share with you throughout this video as we test and test again the brand new Dyson Beauty Kytazan hair care range. Dyson launched two official hair care products. We have a pre-style cream as well as a post-style serum. And there's five products total because there are four different variations of the pre-style cream. Throughout this video, we're gonna figure out exactly who these hair care products are for, what is in them that makes them different from other products on the market, and how it could change everything when it comes to your style longevity. Now, I can't go on without shouting out Dyson for partnering with me on this video. As a long-term Dyson user and lover, I do feel like I have cracked the code on their new hair care range. So if you're looking for all the hair care pro tips and tricks, then buckle in, because we're going deep into this dive. Let's get to it. Okay, so I will be washing my hair and we'll be doing my blowout very shortly. But first let's give a rundown on these products and answer that question, why has Dyson now entered the beauty market, the hair care category? Dyson has always been a solution-based company. Even when I went to Malmesbury to visit their headquarters, I got to see the behind the scenes of their labs where they do their testings and they literally think of everything when it comes to problems and they've listened to their audience a lot of people do tend to struggle with making their blowouts last especially when using tools like the Dyson Airwrap and so I think they decided enough of that. Their main claim to fame here is their unique triodetic technology which is powered by Kytazan which if you don't know what Kytazan is it is this micromolecule that is actually found in the cell walls of mushrooms. It's also found in crustaceans and bugs, but this is mushroom powered. And it's not a new ingredient, it just hasn't been around in hair care a lot. Specifically in hair care, the ingredient has a very high affinity for proteins, so it's gonna help to support the strength of your hair. And it's also a really great polymer and film former that helps give structure to the hair. So when used properly, the formula is gonna create this film over your hair that's going to be one, very flexible, so it's not going to be stiff, it's going to be very hydrating, and it's also going to allow for a long lasting hold because it gives the hair this memory to the shape that you've created while you were styling. So first things first, there are two different products that Dyson launched. There is a pre-style cream and a post-style serum. The pre-style cream comes with four different formulas. There's two formulas for straight to wavy hair in a light conditioning and a rich conditioning formula. And then for curly and coily hair, there's also a light and a rich formula. That's because different hair types require different levels of moisture. So what differentiates these is primarily the oils in the formula, both the potency and the types. The lightweight formulas focus on protecting from damage with an ultra lightweight texture. So they hero grapeseed oil, which is known for being a very powerful antioxidant alongside argan oil, which is in all the formulations to pair smoothness and shine. Then in the rich formulas, they swap grapeseed oil for castor seed oil, which is more of a potent oil and more effective at nourishing the strands with a coating that's going to help maintain the moisture levels in our hair hour because me too keeping what I want in the moisture from all the prepping and what I don't want aka humidity out there's also silicones in these formulas including in the post style serum which isn't your average serum there's also ingredients like hyaluronic acid and amino acids to help hydrate and repair any signs of damage in the hair plus other sealants including that chitosan approximately four to five mushrooms in every bottle FYI to really hone in on on hydrating and holding our end style, which you will see in action a little bit later. So four different pre-style creams to choose from and then one universal post-style serum. Okay, but why? But why? You know, why? Why enter this space? Is it to take all of our monies? It is to solve your problems. Before I lose you, the best way to explain this is to actually show you the product in action. So I'm gonna go wash my hair and we'll come back for the blowout. All right, I'm prepped, I'm sectioned. It's time to start applying the pre-style cream. Now, keeping in mind the triodetic technology that is in the product, the best way we're gonna get that longevity is by making sure every inch of your strand is coated in this product. That's why we'll be applying it in sections. And then to show you how it's going to keep that longevity in our hair, I'm only going to apply this on one half of my head. So we're gonna get a side-by-side -side comparison on how the hair is going to last with the Kytazin products 
and without the Kaitizan products. Now, just one more note, I did go in with a heat protectant leave-in conditioner before I go in and apply this, because again, I'm only using this on one half of my head and my hair has many needs. My issue isn't just with longevity, but with dryness, damage, shine. And again, I'm only applying the Dyson products on one half of my head. So I already prepped all over. Now we can start applying and get into the packaging. Okay, I've seen a lot of people fiddle with it. They're not sure how this works, but this is, this is Dyson technology magic right here. Boom. The engineers did some engineering, let me tell you. This applicator was specifically designed for precision application so you don't overuse your product and you know you're using the exact same amount every time. It takes the guessing game out of how much product you should use. That being said, if you look on the box, it does say to start with one to two pumps and add more as needed. Now, if you have curly hair, you know that we don't, we don't listen to what's on the box ever. We listen to our hair. And so I'm gonna take three pumps and I'm going to emulsify it in my hands. As you can see, it really shears out into this really, really lightweight serum. And now I'm going to just smooth this over my strands. Really, really working it in to just this one half and the other half, we're not gonna do anything. I'm pulling on the hair in a downward motion to really smooth the product over, especially since I am going for a smooth style today. Every action from here on out is going to be smoothing. Now I'm gonna take my air wrap with my firm smoothing brush. My settings are gonna be high airflow and high heat. If you aren't using an air wrap and you're using a blow dryer, always make sure that air is blowing downwards. That's gonna help prevent frizz and increase shine. I'm sorry. That's literally insane. Look at how look at how it's holding this shape already. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do that on the other side. That's wait, let me fully dry. Resist the urge. I'm resisting the urge to react, but wow. But yeah. That's nuts. That is nuts. That's in, that's actually <laughs> okay. I've played around with this, but I haven't like wow. Damn, damn. If you really want the best blowout results on curly hair, it's gotta be from wet. So I'm just gonna spritz it down a touch. It's a little dry over here on this side. Okay, this, this hair is falling. I mean, literally the side is falling already. You can definitely see that there's a big difference in the shine factor on both sides here. This side got pretty smooth, but it still looks a little bit frizzy. And to be quite honest, I never really just go in with the firm smoothing brush when I'm doing my air wrap. I am a big fan of the round brush, so I'm gonna go in just to finish both of these sections. All right, let's move on to the next section and talk about how much product you should apply because I'm applying how much I am, but because I'm taking into consideration my hair's density. So I want you to feel each section. And again, you're gonna get the best results if you do apply this in sections. So now that I'm moving up, I'm going to feel for my hair's density here. And I usually like to just wrap my hand around the product. I call this my rule of thumb. And then where my fingers meet to really hold the hair is gonna show me how much product I need. So now I'm gonna take my pre-style cream and let's see how many doses we need. This is one dose, two, three, four. Do we think we need more? I, me and my hair? I'm using the Curly to Coily Rich Conditioning Formula and I'm gonna take one more, okay? I'm, I am, I'm gonna take one more because I know my hair. I'm also gonna continue using the round brush throughout my head because I want a little bit more curl. This is why I don't really do blowouts. I have a frizz issue. There is a noticeable difference on the side with the Kaitizan of just how much smoother, shinier, and more put together my hair is. Like the hair is holding. I mean, simple, simple as that. It is holding in its shape here. The hair is a lot softer. That is not necessarily a good thing. Okay. I feel like so far I've said enough because at this point, seeing is believing. Listen, this side, it looks great. Will this last me? Probably about five minutes, but this has already been sitting. There is so much hold to the bounce in these curls. Look, if I just 
hands free. Wow, as I'm whipping my hair around right now, I'm really getting into the fragrance. It's giving a sparkling bergamot, subtle florals, warming cedarwood, moss, and musk. It is just fresh, clean, earthy, but luxury. Also, don't kill me the lips. It's because I don't want the hair to stick to my sticks. My lipstick, of course. Oh yeah. I'm seeing stars, one moment. I'm also quite dehydrated with no water in sight. It's fine. This is not, I mean, this is not. This is pretty, it's impressive. It's impressive because it's not only a hold issue, but it doesn't feel heavy. Like there's obviously more tact to the hair. Again, it's giving hold, it's built in to the cream, but it is still lightweight on the hair and it's just keeping the shape. This is, this is already falling on me. So now I have one more top section, which I could definitely split in half, or, 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 seeing as this is the most important section of the whole style, I just wanna apply the Dyson on it. You know, we'll, we'll, I don't wanna look, I mean, I am actually going to wear this blowout, and so I'd rather not look however this is looking. I do not only value longevity, but also symmetry. Let's finish so we can put this style to the test. Well, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> no, now the fun part. Well, before the fun, we finish. We've already set ourselves up with the pre-style cream on this half, but now we use the post-style serum for finishing. Do not let the name fool you. It's a serum, but it's not your typical, really oily, slippery, silky serum. It's got that hold element to it. It's a holding serum, right? So this is going to finish your style. You can add definition back to it. If you have any crispy bits, like for me, my bangs were there the lightest, they're also the driest. This helps to rehydrate your style for an overall healthy, shiny finished result. And I don't go as heavy handed with the finishing serum as I do with the pre-style cream because now that the hair is dry and set, wetting the hair is what ruins it. Just like humidity ruins a style. This is also meant to help block out humidity for that longevity. So we're gonna hope that it keeps me smooth. I'm gonna apply this and then we're gonna actually live with it to put this blowout to the test. Oh, and there's one more thing I didn't mention yet. This packaging is in fact refillable. So when you finish your product, you would buy refills and just pop it back into the original cartridge. A very nice sustainable touch, Dyson. Take a look at that texture. I'm gonna emulsify it between my hands and then define my strands. I'm also gonna move pretty quickly because I find that this does set with that tact and I don't want it to dry on my hands. As for this side, we're gonna leave it dry. It definitely does not have this level of shape and shine. Like, so I'm just gonna conceal what's going on over here. Okay, and we will just address this now and never again. I am looking motherly just with the way this blowout turned out, but that is neither here nor there, okay? This isn't about me. This is about all textures that I put to the test. So check these out next and then I'll come back with my update. Like this underneath is just not holding. It's just not holding. Now let's really talk about some hair that doesn't like holding. This is the finest of fine. So I went in with the lightest formula of the pre-style cream, the straight to wavy light conditioning. And I think you can guess which side I applied the product. This side just made me want to sing. Like, do you remember the time? I'm back in my Michael era. And the Kaitazan side just remembered how the style was, even after brushing. Moving up the ladder now, I'm taking that stream, stream, same light conditioning formula. This hair isn't as fine in texture. It's more on the medium to coarse side, but it is quite heavy and falls quite fast. And since I would not describe this hair as dry, I used the light conditioning, followed with the post-style serum, of course. Although this is a good time to say that you don't have to use both of these products together. And maybe you don't want to. Stay tuned. I do like using it to create more of a PC texture to really define the style afterwards. And these were these results. I mean, the cut included. We were living for it, including the movement. Now moving further up the curl chart, this hair is very fine in texture, but bleached and quite dry. So I took the rich conditioning of the straight to wavy formula to prep this hair for a blowout. Pretty much doing the exact same thing, rinse and repeat. The final results here were 
quite shiny considering how dry her hair is. It looked really smooth and had great bounce. She was pleased. But let's move on to hair that is a little bit more curly. This hair is brushed out, but it's, she does have a curly texture. She just has a little bit of heat damage because she likes to do a lot of blowouts on her hair. She doesn't wear her hair curly and she likes her hair to last. So this was a great test. We did the curly to coily light conditioning. Appreciate the results, appreciate the amount of hair. Going a little bit short hair, here is my mother, also with a curlier texture that prefers to be blow dried. And when I use the light conditioning on her hair, I use much less product because her hair is so much shorter. My mother's formula is six pumps for her whole head. And my God, the shine? I mean, we did just freshly do her color, but we're gonna let the hair speak for itself. Say no more. And now for this test, I wanna use both curly to coily styling creams. We're gonna use the rich conditioning on one side and the light conditioning on the other side of our texture Tammy's hair, okay? So this is a blowout. The ends severely need a trim. This is light conditioning, and this is the rich conditioning. Am I Delulu, or do we see more shine on the rich side? I wanna say it's one of my first times straightening her hair. So she's not heat trained. If your hair isn't heat trained, AKA a little bit heat damaged, it's just not gonna lay flat, flat with a blowout. So while there's no heat damage here, what do you think of her hair? As a curly hair specialist, I would be careful using the Post Style Serum if you have gone from curly to straight, if you've blown out your hair, because what do we know reverts curls back to their natural state? Moisture. This is a moisturizing formula. It has water, it's got hyaluronic acid, it's gonna draw water into your hair. And I just, in my experience now, I like it better when I've actually used it on my curls. It works great as a finisher on my curls, but I'm not sure about applying it on a blowout, personally. Speaking of personally, let's bring it back to me. These were the end of my day one results. This was the side with the chitosan. The side without undoubtedly had more frizz, did not have as much definition, fell a lot more, and I was extremely pleased with my results. I feel like it looked shiny. There was a great curl memory. My hair felt soft and was conditioned. All right, quick check-in. Apologies for the lighting and the plaid. I'm at a cottage, a great place to test the blowout. I'm gonna go outside, but just before that, this is fresh day two. Now with curly hair, the first day blowout doesn't do it. It's just a little poofy. It needs the oils to settle. It needs to marinate overnight. And that is what we have done here today. And like the shine is spectacular. Give me 14 of them right now. I haven't added any extra. There's no additional product in my hair. Before bed, I did put in my overnight rollers just so I could keep the blowout shape. So my hair didn't revert overnight, which is very important for me. And this is how we're looking. No Dyson, Dyson. Oh, and you're probably wondering, what about on curly hair? Like, can I use this to style my curls? Because that's what I was wondering. And so I did test the pre-style cream on my hair when it is curly, and I used it like I would any other styling cream. I first prepped my hair with a primer, because again, my hair has many needs. That's why we layer our products. And then I applied five pumps to each side, maybe more. I think I did a total of 12 pumps throughout my whole head. After diffusing, I fluffed it all out with my hands, and I used the post-style serum to finish. And the best way I would describe this hair is like sexy, effortless, undone. It gave me whole and longevity but without crunch i was feeling carry vibes very sarah jessica parker in sex in the city thank you well my friends i don't know what else there is to say if i am missing anything you can leave your comments and questions in the comment section below i do hope that after watching this video and tutorial you have gotten a better understanding of the new dyson kaitizan hair care products if they are right for you and exactly how to use them for the best results which I look forward to seeing. If I ever help you with a hairstyle, do tag me in your Instagram pics. If you wanna check these out, you can find the links in the description. And one more time, thank you to Dyson for partnering with me on this video. I will just add, I was shocked when you were coming out with products because we went from vacuums to hair care. But now that we're here, our styles are not just here to slay, but to stay. Thank you so much for watching. This has been your main girl Mel, and I am out. Peace. Uh, I look like mushroom, which I guess is very fitting. <laughs> mm, she needs a trim. <laughs>
Mm. I am your mother. It's a look. It, it, now this, it's a look, right? This side is driving me crazy. I want to put some serum on. I do, I do, I do, I do. Wait, 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 wait